Now, while I have already covered a lot of Super Mario Bros. Wonder myths, and even created a mega compilation with 180 of them, I am back to talk about more of them. Because so many of you wanted me to continue, so I had to do it! And today, we will look at a bunch of them. For example, how many power-up balloons can you spawn in? Can Yoshi grab a Wonder Flower with his tongue? And what happens if you confront Bowser Jr. when you're invisible? Well, let's find out. Number 15. Now Yoshi can grab almost anything, but not with his hands. I mean, look at those stubby little arms. He can't do anything with them. So he has to use his tongue, and this often works. But then people in the comment section asked me some interesting questions. What can Yoshi grab with his tongue? Can he grab coins? And what about wonder flowers? Well, I had no idea. So I went to the very first level and tried to use Yoshi's tongue on anything I could find there. Now, as you can see, normal as well as purple coins, these special flower things, and power-ups worked fine. I could grab all of them. But when I attempted to eat the wonder flower, I couldn't. The tongue just went straight through and it did nothing. So while the tongue of this green little dragon can be handy, it doesn't work on everything found in the game. Number 14. In the older 2D Mario titles, a lot of the levels were the same. I mean, not exactly, but the vast majority didn't have some crazy twist. But this isn't the case with Wonder. This game is filled with all kinds of unique and odd levels, and one of those is Break Time, Hurry Hurry, where you have to be fast. But according to some, you can also do it by just walking. Well, that's what Mr. Myth claimed at least. So I went there and tried to complete it by just walking. However, every time I tried to do so, I failed. I couldn't get my hands on the Wonder Flower because time would run out. Now it could be that I'm doing something wrong here, but as far as I can see, this claim is just false. Number 13. In the past, we've messed around with the elephant power-up and shells, because you can juggle these, which leads to some interesting effects. But then I saw someone claim something that didn't make much sense to me. Candice Turner said that you can bounce the shell on your head as well. But when I read that, I expected that this would just deal damage to the player, and that it wouldn't work at all. But still, I had to do it. So I went to a level filled with shells and started juggling. Now, at some point, I decided to headbutt it, and... And this worked. I didn't take damage and it bounced off my head. So yeah, as far as I can see, this does work. Although it is pretty pointless. The shell doesn't really bounce higher and it falls to the ground quite quickly, which ended in me taking damage and losing the power up. Number 12. Now after looking at a bunch of bigger myths and claims, we will look at a small detail that might be true, but it could also be false. Kira's mom said that during the final boss fight, if you hit Bowser, his eyes will turn into X's for a short amount of time. So I went to the final encounter and hit Bowser right where it hurts, to see if this would really happen. And as you can see, this really is a thing. For a short amount of time, his eyes turn into X's, and I've even seen a similar effect on other enemies in the game. So yeah, this little detail is actually true. Number 11. Now in an older video, we looked at the Goombas and how they react when you kill them or when you wake them up. However, at that point, people started asking questions about the Koopa Troopas as well. And Ashley even claimed that if you kill a Koopa Troopa, the ones around it will get scared. But does this really happen? Well, in order to find out, I had to kill one of them to see how the others would react. Which is a bit brutal, but hey, it's part of the job. But when I did this, I was a bit disappointed. All the other Koopa Troopas Koopas ignored it and continued what they were doing. So yeah, this isn't really a thing. Number 10. Now this next myth took a bit of effort to test, but man oh man, it was worth it. Because this one was super interesting. In a lot of the older videos, we messed around with the drill mushroom to see what it could and couldn't do. And in general, it was super handy and allowed you to survive all kinds of crazy things that you normally wouldn't. Now, a couple of weeks back, we looked at a little trick that allowed you to trap people in the Shava Mansion level. However, after seeing that, Ducky Gamer had an interesting question for me 
me. He said if you used the drill mushroom to go underground in that hole and push the block in, could you survive the whole ordeal? Well, that's a great question because normally you would die from something like that. So I went there and set up this experiment. I spawned in a second player, went underground with the drill mushroom and pushed the block in the hole. And to my surprise, I was able to survive. But at that point, you're stuck and can't get out unless someone uses a pipe or something else. But luckily enough, the special pipe still spawns. So I was able to enter it, which allowed me to set the player with the drill mushroom free. So yeah, you can actually survive this. Number 9. I think all of us agree that the badge system seen in Wonder was a great decision on Nintendo's end, but not all of them are amazing. Some are absolute hot garbage and can only be used to make the game more difficult, with the invisibility badge being a great example of this. But is there a way to use it to make couch co-op more interesting? Well yes, because Marking Place said that when you're invisible, you can still see the crown, allowing you to track your character better. And as you can see, this is true. Now this this is only a thing in multiplayer modes, and as far as I remember, the person with the highest points will have the crown. And I bet this could be used to make stuff like playing with friends even more fun. Because you will constantly fight over the crown to make your life a whole lot easier. So be sure to try this the next time you boot up the game with pals. Number 8. Yoshi can eat basically anything. He's like a living vacuum cleaner, and no matter what you put in, it will disappear. Well, except for wonder flowers. But what about enemies? What kinds can he eat? Well, we haven't done much testing when it comes to this, but FFIM gave me a good excuse to mess around with him. Because this person asked me if Yoshi can eat the bloomp enemy when they are still small. Because as you can see right here, Yoshi can't do much with the big ones. So I tried it when they were still tiny. First, I went for the blooms that were just inflating, but as you can see, I couldn't do much with them. So then I tried it with the ones that were about to run out of air. But again, Yoshi's tongue couldn't do much, which means that this claim is false. Number seven. Now in some ways, this game is just Nintendo's greatest hits. They included a lot of stuff from older titles that fans loved. A good example of this is the wonder effect seen in the level Blooms of the Desert Skies. Here Mario's body is inflated and turns into some sort of a balloon, which is incredibly similar to the pea balloon seen in a game like Super Mario World. And this is a pretty fun wonder effect. But 40 Sussman asked me, can you take damage in this form or even be popped like a balloon? Well, I went into the level with a mission, taking as much damage as possible and popping the Mario balloon. But no matter what I did, Mario took no damage and his balloon body didn't pop. No matter how many sharp edges I rammed into and enemies I tried to hit, nothing happened. So yeah, it really seems like you are invincible in this form. Number six. When you play through a level a couple of times, you will notice that there are secrets everywhere. Think of hidden pipes or coin heavens. This game has it all, but often these are found in hidden blocks, and those can be tricky to find, but apparently there's a way to make it easier to spot them. Pizza Tower said that if there's an invisible block above a Goomba, he will look at it with a confused face. So I went into the first level and walked towards a spot where a hidden block could be found. Now as soon as the Goomba approached, it, I could see that he looked up at the block in confusion, exactly as the commenter claimed. And even after doing this multiple times, I could see that they all do this. So yeah, this claim is clearly true, and it can be super handy. Number 5. Now this next one is short and simple, so I will get to the point straight away. As we all know, power-ups transform you, and the most famous one in this game is the elephant. But apparently there's a small little detail that we all missed. Clifford said that both Peach and Daisy have small heart-shaped soles under their feet in this form, which could be an easter egg as hearts are often used for these characters, from items to design elements. So I went to check it out, and yeah, it's a thing. You can see it right here when I jump. So, this claim is true. Number 4. 
Now this one has been requested by loads of people. I have seen it in the comments of my videos hundreds of times. And today, I will finally look at it. Lucas asked me, if you use the invisibility badge in the game, will Bowser Jr. see you at the beginning of the final level? Well, I equipped the badge and went in to see what his exact reaction would be. And as you can see, he does say something different. He says, huh, why can't I see you? But then he shrugs it off and continues with his normal dialogue. So it's it's not like it changes a whole lot, but still, as we can clearly see here, it does have an effect. Number 3 we experimented a lot with the power-up balloons because in many ways they have some weird abilities. But some folks in the comments still wanted to know one thing about them. Is there a maximum? Ben asked me if there's a limit to the number of power-up balloons you can have active at the same time. So I went to the closest KO arena because there you can get an infinite amount of power-ups. And I did my best to spawn in as many as I could. But as soon as I brought in a second one, the first one started blinking and shortly after it disappeared. So I brought a second player in and tried it again. This time I could spawn two balloons in. But when I created a third, the first one disappeared again. Which clearly showed me that the maximum amount is the number of players in the game. And no more than that. Number 2 now of course we have to look at a Yoshi myth one last time. I mean, people wanted me to do it, so I had to oblige. Now one of my favorite new enemies in this game is this little firework buddy that shoots fireworks as soon as you pick him up. And this can be handy when taking out enemies above you. However, Aelus came up with a fun idea that is kind of evil as well. What happens if Yoshi eats this enemy while it's shooting its fireworks? Will it stop or will it explode in Yoshi's mouth and deal damage to him? him. Now this was a really good question. Sure it's a bit risky for Yoshi but luckily enough that's not our problem. So I went to the KO arena in Deep Magma Bog because there are loads of them there. Now when I activated one and put it in my mouth it stopped shooting fireworks. So Yoshi was fine but when I spit it out the enemy would continue like normal and no matter what I did it couldn't blow up Yoshi. So sadly enough this claim is false. It would have been a lot of fun to see Yoshi explode. Number 1 I have beaten all the bosses in the game, and overall they were a lot of fun. However, I haven't defeated some of the stronger normal enemies yet. And there's one that people want me to defeat, or at least try to, the giant hoppy cats. Darwin, for example, asked me to do this. So I went to the level hoppy cat trial, hop hop and away, grabbed the wonder flower and tried to kill it. First, I attempted to use normal melee damage by using the elephant's trunk attack. But quite quickly, I noticed that this wouldn't work, and I even took damage, losing the power up. So I went for another approach, one that also worked with another strong enemy, Shadow Mario. I grabbed a fire flower and started bombarding it with fireballs from all sides, including below it. But after throwing loads of them, I could see that it didn't affect him at all. As far as I noticed, you just can't kill them. They are completely immune to any type of damage. So yeah, sadly enough, this one is false. Now those were all the myths for today, and I know some of you are sad that it ended, but don't worry, I uploaded a huge compilation of all the other myths I busted, 180 in total, so go check it out, and be sure to leave your ideas for future videos below. I need myths to bust after all, and don't forget, leave a like and subscribe, it really helps.